Hello everyone, welcome to this overview video for Forsaken Legends. My name is Bobby, and I've got Kyle here as well. He's the developer for Forsaken Howdy. Legends. Um, so, Forsaken Legends is a large-scale MMORPG with a lot of action twists put into it with some survival and base building, you know, lots of PvP, PvE, all sorts of goodies all mixed into one awesome gameplay experience. So, as you can see here, we've got... Uh, some pretty realistic um, art style that we're going with. Uh, we've got uh, volumetric clouds that players can actually fly through with their mounts. Um, you can see some of the weather effects that are going on. So it's a fully, um, fully dynamic, like a living, breathing kind of a cloud system. I don't know if there's a better way to describe that, but. <laughs> Just take yeah, I think look, you got it. Look around here. You can show it off a little bit. I can change the time. Sure. See the clouds come in. See them burn off. Beautiful. So you can see the lighting racks to the clouds. Um, they cast shadows. So, you know, it's a really... Um, just pretty to sit there and look at the clouds all day. <laughs> <laughs> I find myself just staring up at them. Uh, one other things that really sets us apart is that the world that we're creating is a persistent world. So um, we'll go into this further in some of the other videos. But basically how you know a lot of MMOR MMORPGs do it, they have servers and ge geographical areas like you know you might have a USA East and then you know one through ten or something or there'll be different names so they have to split that community up that's on the east coast of the USA into multiple different servers so one of the great things about the technology that we're using is that it allows us to have a server like on USA East but it allows us to consolidate all of those servers into one server one world so you can have massive amount of players interacting on the same server with the world that we're generating here, it's a, a procedural, endless world, so we're endlessly procedural. So as long as you keep running in a direction, we're going to keep generating terrain that's um, you know procedurally generated. It'll be the same for everyone. So it's basically just a massive, endless world that tens of thousands of players can explore and interact with. Um, you know, monsters can uh, continue to persist even while players aren't around. Uh, some of the other videos will wander around here and you'll see some of the trolls that are inhabiting the lands and what happens is when players aren't around those monsters still move around they can forage they can fight each other they can level up they can interact with other AI like raid towns and things like that so the world that you're able to interact with is alive and you're constantly evolving constantly changing um, We've got a, a full build system in place. You can see, I'll just place a few here. It's a socket-based type construction system. So we'll go into these more. And you build pillars and things like that. And you can build walls. You get me to it. So <laughs> it's a <laughs> really simple building system, but it allow players to create just really crazy fortresses all over the place. Uh, players will be able to claim a plot of land as their own, whether it's in a, a PvP part of the world or a PvE part of the world or a hardcore part of the world. They'll all be split up into quadrants for the different kind of gameplay style that you want, so you never have to worry about uh, being in a part of the world that you don't want to interact with. For example, if you don't like PvP or you don't want to have to worry about a rogue sneaking up behind you and taking you out, then you can stick to the PvE quadrants of the world. And On the other hand, if you really enjoy PvP combat and destroying other people's hard work, <laughs> then you can go to the PvP quadrant and have at it there. Um, That's where I'll be at. <laughs> Come I'm, find me. I'm kind of a mixture. <laughs> um, anything else that you think should go in a, a general overview video here? Um, I think you covered most of the big points. I think so. Talking right. about gathering, maybe. Gathering? Yeah. Like, uh, 
Yeah, you know, like the ore veins and stuff that'll be around in the world. You can go uh, mine them for resources for crafting and things like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so full uh, crafting support, like blacksmiths, uh, fishing, cooking, all sorts of fun stuff to, to level up and do. And one of the big things, uh, we talk about this a little later in the crafting part of it, but uh, we want to make sure that the time that you spend building up your crafting skills never goes to waste. So we're always going to find a way for your skills and the items that you generate from your trade will be useful to players you know, throughout the game. So you never have to worry about getting to the, to the end of your gear or your, the end of your uh, trade and not being able to generate anything that's worthwhile or things that people would even want. I might need a foundation under you there. There we go. You we see. need some half stairs. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, the uh, the building is all based on physics, so it's destructible. If we take out the corner there, I'm going to ruin your house. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, but once again, the world is persistent, so when these things destroy, uh, they'll stick around until a player comes along and um, picks them up, reclaims some of the building materials and things like that. So, I think that is it for the overview video. If you, uh, if, you know, if this sounds like a, a game that you'd be interested in playing, you can check out the the pre-launch campaign that we're doing, um, and I'll have it on the uh, overview on the the video here for the overlay. All right, we will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Thanks.